Being donations of water, paper supplies, and non-perishable food items already sent to Louisiana. What we assume they're going to need, again, also is blood donations. And here to explain why is health reporter Haley Hernandez. Haley, this is something that we often hear about following natural disasters like Laura. Is this something that is already headed to Louisiana at this point? You know, Christine, not yet, but blood donations, yes, they are always needed at times like these. And here's why. Our community alone, according to the Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center, needs close to a thousand units of blood for patients in our hospitals here right now. So when natural disasters hit, those donations tend to go down while the need goes up and people in those hard hit areas can't take the time to make the donations within their own communities. So they end up looking to their neighbors like us. David Cruthers is donating here today while his mind is across the border in Louisiana where he's from. It's a big mess. I was there doing a lot of relief after Rita and it was really bad. He says he's a regular donor and wanted to make sure he got this one in before hitting the road to check on family in Sulphur, slightly west of Lake Charles. Here at the Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center, they are preparing to help those hard hit neighbors if the need calls, but to maintain our current supply that's already needed for patients here and be ready to help, they need more people to donate. Blood donations were down. Uh, you know, we get about two thirds of our donations from schools, and you know, we shut down pretty much the city in March. And you know, that really, you know, we took a hit on blood donations. Yesterday, he says they had to cancel several blood drives and estimates they lost 600 donations. Plus, summer months can already be a tough time to get donations while people are out of town and out of typical routines. But they're hoping this emergency will encourage people to come in. People should donate the gift of life. Now, I do want to reiterate that when I say blood donations, that's because that's what's most needed during times of disaster. But the Blood Center also takes donations of platelets and plasma, which, as you know, plasma is being used right now for some coronavirus patients, too, Keith. All right. Thank you so much, Haley. The FDA uh, overturned that ruling to stop the use of plasma. Is that correct? Yeah, you probably remember my report from last week where we said that, but earlier this week they reversed that decision and our local hospitals are once again permitted to use plasma on patients. Now, as a reminder, if you're unsure if you had the virus and you do make a blood donation, the blood center gives you an antibody test for free with your donation. That's so that they can see if you have the antibodies that would make you eligible to donate that plasma. All right, good information to have. Thanks so much. Yeah, we appreciate